Just as the University of Miami established itself as a big-time baseball power in the early 70s, Wayne Krenchicki arrived on the scene and established himself as the standard for Hurricane shortstops of the future. Stadium announcer Jay Rokich. To this day, he'll still be remembered certainly as the finest all-around shortstop that the Hurricane baseball program has ever had. Scholarships started to come in 1973, and Wayne was one of the first real scholarship ballplayers at the University of Miami. And we brought in some real fine ballplayers. Wayne was about as good as they get. He was a freshman. I remember going to recruit him at Ewing High School in Trenton, New Jersey, and uh, you know, very impressed because he uh, he was a, a, a mature aggressive kind of guy, and that's the kind of guy you want playing for you. In his three years at UM, Krenchicki set Miami career records for hits and runs scored, and seasonal records for doubles and total bases. His career batting average was 316. He was so steady, and uh, he made all the plays, and uh, you know, he was always in the ball game. He'd find a way to win. In 74, when we went to the World Series, we were like the Cinderella kids when we got out there. You know, that no one, Miami, this was first time ever to the World Series. Not many people thought much of us as a program. But uh, when we came back, they knew who University of Miami was. And we finished, uh, you know, we played for the championship, for the national championship against Southern Cal. And Krenchicki was such a big part of that. But while Wayne was a great player on the field, he was a great character off it. Coach Fraser always had something about, you know, the guys getting to the ballpark early. You know, and Wayne wasn't one of those type of guys. And uh, he walked into the dugout one Saturday morning, and he had a you know bag of donuts with him and a, and a glass of orange juice, and sort of looked like he had just you know rolled out of bed. And uh, he got into a little discussion with uh, Coach Fraser, and uh, you know Coach was always hard on certain players. He liked to you know bear down on him. And I remember Coach Fraser uh, telling to uh, Wayne if he wasn't happy with uh, you know. Coach Fraser's rules that he could certainly leave the dugout at that time. And Wayne was cocky and uh, he didn't mind, uh, you know, sometimes battling the coach. And Wayne got up and he started to leave the ballpark at that particular moment. And I sort of grabbed Wayne and I said, gee, Krenchik, this doesn't seem like the best thing to do in your interest. You know, I, I think you better come back here. Well, sure enough, he did come back, and on that particular day, I believe he had four hits and drove in the winning run against the Green Wave of Tulane. Three years after leaving Miami, Wayne made it to the major leagues, where he went on to have an eight-year career with Baltimore, Cincinnati, Montreal, and Detroit. Franchicki hits it hard, double to right field. Here comes Cedeno. Ladies and gentlemen, the best shortstop in Miami baseball history, Wayne Krenchicki.